Hello everyone. Thanks for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos and writing the comments for my videos. Today we will learn about how to convert one unit into another. For that, we have to remember the following order. So order, if you will see in all these length, mass and capacity, we'll see just one order which you need to remember. That is K represent your kilo, H which represent your hecto, D, A, which represent your deca, then you can remember it as meter, gram, liter, then deci, which you can represent with D, centi, which you can represent with C, and milli, which you can represent with M. So generally we represent it with M, but here you will get confused this M and this M represent what? So you can write it as uh, M, I for just your understanding. Now you have to just remember this. And then if you will see, if we are going to convert a bigger unit into a smaller unit, like kilo into hecto, which is the smaller unit, then we have to always multiply. But when we are converting the smaller into the bigger unit, like milli into centi, then we always need to divide. Now let's understand how we can convert a particular unit into particular unit using this particular table. So for example, if I have to convert, five kilometer into centimeter. So what I'll do here, I will use the following table which is given above and then I will try to figure out what I need to do here. So I said, whenever we convert the smaller unit into bigger, we will divide. When we are converting bigger into smaller, we have to multiply. So this side, we always write down the bigger units and when we keep on moving toward this side, then we have the smaller units. So that means here we are moving from bigger to smaller. That's why we multiply. And here we are moving from smaller to bigger. That means we are dividing here. So since I said kilometer into centimeter, so this is kilometer and this one is centimeter. So where we are moving, we are moving from kilometer to centimeter. So for that, I have to make an arrow starting from the kilometer to centimeter. And then I'll see how many tens are there in this particular half circle. So one, two, three, four, and five. So if I have to convert it into centimeter, what I will write, I will write five, which is the number and I will times it. 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. That means I will write it five times because there are five tens within this half circle. So I'll get my answer as five, then 100, then 1000. So there are total one, two, three, four, five, five zeros. So I have already written here five zeros, two plus three, five zeros. That means it will be equals to centimeter. Now let's take another example. Suppose if I'm converting 15 decameter into, let it be millimeter. So if I have to convert decameter into millimeter, I will see from here decameter, I'll start from here and I'll go with millimeter. Now in this house circle, how many tens we have? One, two, three, four. That means now I will write is equals to 15 into four times 10. So I write down here one, two, three, four zeros. That means 150,000 millimeter. So that is how we can convert your bigger unit into smaller unit by multiplying it. Now, for example, if I'll say that we have to convert here 15 gram into milligram. So what I'll do, I'll go with gram into milligram. So this is gram and this is milligram. So how many tens are there? There are three tens in between. So that means I will multiply 15 with 10 into 10 into 10. That means I will write on here three zeros. That means 50,000 milligram. So that is how you can convert. So you can practice different kind of a questions. I have already shared a worksheet in the description box along with the answers. Just do the questions and clear your concept. Now let's understand if we have to convert the smaller into a bigger unit, what to do. So if I have to convert milliliter to liter, I have to see how many tens are there. 
So we have one, two, and three tens. That means if I will divide it with 10 divided by 10 divided by 10, that means I need to divide it with 1000. So I will divide it with 1000 and I will get my answer here, which is equals to 0 0.025 liter. So that is how we can convert smaller into the bigger unit. Similarly, we can take some other example. So if I need to convert 125 centigram to decagram. So centigram to decagram. So here it is. So how many tens are there? Three tens again. So that means I need to divide here with divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. That means I need to divide it with 1000. So I can write it as equals to 125 divided by 1000, which is equals to 0.125 decagram. So this is how we can convert the smaller unit into the bigger unit. For more such videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and please write the comment in the comment section so that video will reach to the wider audience. Thanks for watching.